Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution Blind. Last time we found out that the newscaster was an AI. Now we'll hopefully we'll get some truths out of our boss. He's kept things hidden from us for far too long. And we shall not stand for it any longer. Mr. Jensen, sure is good to see you. Mr. Seraph assigned us to watch the building. Hey, Mr. Jensen. What a night, huh? I made the rounds. Some punks tried to tag the building, but no major damage. Well, I wouldn't imagine there would be major damage from someone tagging the building. Anti-augmentation rights erupt worldwide. Tonight across North America, Europa, Africa, and the Middle East, protesters are turning up in the tens of thousands of the opposition to unregulated human augmentation research by Biotech Corporation. Men have begun burning cars and looting business to get their point across. You know, there are times when you have to fight for your rights, when you have to stand up, and when there are indeed times to get violent. But if you're trying to win a political argument by setting things on fire and breaking stuff, you're a terrorist, okay? I mean, you're trying to get your argument across by being violent and making the opposition afraid of going against you, not by presenting any logical arguments whatsoever. Isn't that really the definition of terrorism? Trying to enforce your will by scaring the other part? That's kind of where words come from, terror, you know? The violence erupted after satellite footage surfaced, showing unidentified scientists performing torturous with a section-like experiments on a team of so-called augmented super soldiers, image of the procedure of Ghana near universal condemnation from the international community. Oh, so unidentified people are doing something to unidentified people. And therefore we should set stuff on fire. Yeah, that, 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 that's good, guys. That's good. You know, just, you know, get the flock angry and like a good sheeple you are, start burning stuff because clearly you aren't being manipulated by this vague information that somehow confirms your worst fears. In Detroit, huge crowds have gathered in front of self industries. Swelling the protest numbers are those who had attended anti augmentation crusade at Bill speech at the Mons Convention Center. Heavily armed police units have been brought in to restore order. Honestly, if you're setting stuff on fire over this, I don't mind if you get shot, okay? Seriously. Don't don't riot or stuff like this. It, I mean, if your leader is a corrupt bastard who's trying to take complete control of the country, or if the government is experimenting on people, if you have real information, then for God's sake, find the bastards and put a fist through their face, but... Jesus Christ. Get a little more, something more solid than this. This is not worth starting fires over. Not until you have some confirmed info. Artists Against Violence announced a concert for peace. Artists Against Violence have announced an upcoming benefit concert to promote peace. It's later for the Trinity Theatre in Los Angeles. All proceeds will go toward Retake of City Initiative. Confirmed artists include superstar Nia Shah Kim and Rock of the Seven Day Syndicate. Oh, Jesus Christ. No problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under control. I'd hope so. <sighs> Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. Are <laughs> you just seeing saying. the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not. Except for the typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts. What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. 
But these people, they're like ghosts. Always in the shadows, always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... <laughs> the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us. So we can all become like you. Excuse me? Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is, but Taggart will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. All right, a few things here. First of all, considering that Jensen was adopted, he has almost supernatural ability to bond with his augmentations. He may be an artificially created human of some sort, a homuncula if you will, enhanced so that people could learn how to bind these things together to make it work, or possibly something like that. His boss knows it, he's well aware of it, and Jensen just refused to press the subject. See, here's another thing I really don't like about this game. See, it's supposed to be a role-playing game, right? But every time there's a major conversation, I have no say whatsoever. I have no influence. It's all minor conversations. Okay, there's been a few. There's been one. You know, when I talked to the boss and got that info about him being adopted. But that's it. That's one time I can remember where I influence on a major conversation. A lot of times it's been predetermined. That's... It's like they want to tell their story, but they also want a roleplay game. It's like they want first person, but also want third person. It's like the devils can't fucking decide what game they want. It's borderline schizophrenic at times, let me tell you. I think that's my main problem with this game is the developers couldn't seem to find out what kind of game they wanted to make. I'll drop you for a moment. There we go. It's like, I wouldn't say they want their cake and eat it because that's a fucking stupid expression if there ever been one. What would I else would I do with my cake if I didn't want to eat it? Ya yeah, donkey. But it's like, they couldn't decide what they wanted so they took from everything without trying to... And it feels schizophrenic, it feels inorganic. It's like trying to skate up a downgoing escalator. Ooh. Well, that was unfortunate. It's glitching. The experience is rubbed against each other wrongly and makes this... Now, it's not a bad game, it's just dragged down by a lot of faults that are purely because the developers couldn't decide what game they wanted to make. So many things will be improved by just going all the way. That little blackmail stunt you pulled cost me my job. Asshole! Stay where you are! <laughs> Give up, Jensen! Um... Okay. 
So it turns out using my instantly convince people earlier had a negative side effect. And I like to remind of that um, that account. I didn't choose to blackmail him. I choose to be aggressive because that's how I won the conversation. Because I wouldn't be able to do that with the two other options. Because that's how this works. I find out which flip goes up the most, and then I press that to win. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like about the conversation system. It's less role playing and it's more winning. I don't know, it may, it may not be a problem with the game. It may just be a problem with me when they give me this info and says, you have to press this and this and this to win the conversation. I mean, it's not like, let's say, Mass Effect, where you can, you know, be solve things both Paragon and Renegade. Sometimes you'll need more Paragon than Renegade, and sometimes the other way around. And now I have to kill this guy. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can just knock him out. It's not his fault that the game is so stupidly put together. There are so many faults in this game. And it drags it down. Like, really drags it down. Reestablishing security. Ooh. I'm not sure the developers knew what game they wanted. It's like they want to cater to fans but also take it in a new direction. Well, let us say screw the old fans if they can't handle a little change. Take a chance, try something new, go all the way. Maybe you'll fail, but you'll fail spectacularly, and that's better than nothing. Jensen, that little b Stay where- I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't kill me. So yeah. And well, we're back here again. Hi, how's it going? Yo, mind your own business, man. Not oh, sure enough. Hmm. Nothing that smells like a side quest there. Oh, there's a guy running. Hi. Listen, I probably don't know any more about this than you do. Actually, you probably know even less. nice of him. He's trying to help. The city's in flames because everyone believes some new story. Yep. It's a confirmation of everything they feared, so it doesn't matter if it's have any backup, whatever. It comes from to their fears, so they have to react upon it. Sometimes one wonders if the whole human civilization thing isn't just a joke somebody tells. Now, I'm not that misanthropic. It's just stuff like this also happens in real life at times. People see something, oh this confirmed my paranoid conspiracy fantasies, I've been a rage! Though I admit I'm nothing... Actually wait, I am. Jensen, Sarif had me have the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Taggart will know where he went. 
You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about? Yeah. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court. In case you want to get chatty with him too. I think I can spare the time.